What's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> so, I've been getting, and I hate when, when people start off these, uh, these YouTube videos of saying, so I've been getting a lot of questions about, but in reality, I haven't. I've been getting a lot of questions that once I installed that Iron Man bumper, that I'm actually getting questions about how to wire those turn signals and those lights. It's basic. So stay tuned. I just got to go over and unclip some wires and take off some tape. And then I'll, I'll walk you through the steps and how I took care of it. So you'll notice that when Iron Man, when you got your lights, for the fog lights, you have the white li white wire and then the black wire for, right? So fog lights, white wire, and you have black wire. You'll take the, and I, I actually added in another wire in there. It's a white with a, or black and red. And then this guy is white and black. So the white and black will attach to the all black wire and then the black and red or black and well, it looks more like black and white. No, it looks like black and red. <laughs> we'll go to the all white wire. That's how you do your fogs. Of course, right here, I, I have a, <clears throat> a solder joint in there. Um, and then I had the quick disconnect right here just in case I need to change things out. You'll see on my last video when I connected the LED lights how I actually connected all this and put in the LED bulbs. So with the Iron Man LED indicator slash running lamp, you have four wires. For the purposes of making this into a turn indicator, you're gonna utilize the yellow and white wire. The brown wire is actually doesn't isn't really used for anything. The red wire is is used as a running light. So it has two circuits in here, right? So if you wanted to, you take the yellow wire and the white wire, and I'll show you how to connect it up to the factory turn signals. But if you take that red wire, you're just going to have to run that wire to either a separate switch and locate it inside the cab, or you can you could run it to your, your corner marker lights that are located next to your, your headlights. So anytime you, you turn the car on, you'll have a constant uh, amber light. So you could wire both of those up all together. With the Lexus models, the only turn indicator that they have is gonna be in the bumper. Whereas the Toyota Land Cruiser, the turn indicator is up in the corner marker light. So you could have several different combinations. Uh, with the Toyota Land Cruiser, you could just make this into a turn signal or a turn signal with marker light or just a marker light. So check this out. I'm gonna show you how I wired everything up. If you look at the back also, and I'll, put, uh, I'll shoot a photograph of this, but there's actually instructions on which wire does what. So the yellow one is for the turn indicator, the white one is ground, the red one is gonna be for the running lights, and then brown, I can't see what that says, but uh, there are, there is a little diagram in the back. So let me just unravel this, this, uh, this electrical tape here, and I'll show you which wires that I used in order to use the turn signal. <laughs> A lot of confusion with the Iron Man, Ameri or Iron Man 4x4 America's instructions. But you know what? Never fear. All right. Like, like I said right here, you have a green. Well, let's get that into focus here. You have a green, <clears throat> a green and 
yellow wire, and then you have a white wire with a black stripe. White, white wire with the black stripe goes to the white wire, and then green with yellow goes to the yellow. That's how I have my turn indicators working. So I know a lot of people would actually probably take this, trim it so it's a little bit higher up. I'm kind of weird like that. I, I don't. I'm going to button this all up. I'll tape this. I'll tape these two wires to the side because maybe I want to use those wires again. And actually, you know what? I'm going to, and I'm going to clip these off so they're not touching. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this all in. I'm going to wrap these all in tape and then I'm going to get a wire tie and tie it up as high as possible so that they don't hang on to anything. So there's already a wire loom that's up there. I'm going to uh, bunch of wires together. And you know what? That's not bad for right now. All right, I got my little helper inside. He's gonna help me out. All right, down. That circuit works. All right, all the way, turn that one off. Now to the right. And that one works too. I also have another video on how to uh, make it from hyper flash to a normal flash. And uh, I'll leave a link on at the end of the video too. Hey, thanks for watching the video. It, it seems like it seems really easy to do but when you look at those instructions they're confusing and i understand so if you have any questions leave me a comment or you can visit me on instagram send me a dm and uh, i'll be more than happy to help uh, also leave me a comment if i did it wrong or if you don't know another way so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the trail